हेलो वीवर्स आई एम जहूर इस्लाम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी एंड माई यूट्यूब चैनल जहूर इस्लाम ऑफिशियल टूडे द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू प्रजेंट दैट इज द फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग स्टेबिलिटी सो वट आर द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स दैट कैन एफेक्ट द स्टेबिलिटी सो वन इज एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर देन माइक्रोबियल कंटामिनेशन एंड द थर्ड वन इज कंटेनर एंड क्लोजर सो इन दिस लेक्चर I'm going to explain the uh, factors affecting the stability. The another one is environmental factor. So environmental factors include temperature, light, and moisture contents. So uh, one of the most important factor uh, that can affect the drug stability that is temperature. so temperature is the average kinetic energy of the body or uh, the average kinetic energy uh, and this uh, uh, lecture uh, we will just talk about the uh, how the uh, what are the uh, different uh, factors or which can uh, affect the drug stability so there are three types of storage temperature one is room temperature the second one is cold temperature and the third one is free storage the first one is room temperature so dear students uh, try to remember that the room temperature is from 25 to 30 degree centigrade so in this chapter in this and uh, uh, in this temperature and this room temperature uh, Uh, the drug has the tendency uh, uh, to maintain uh, its uh, specification uh, the second one is cold temperature or refrigerator storage so the cold temperature is almost from 2 to 8 degree centigrade and if you remember we have already explained and the vaccine can be also stored in this temperature 0 to 8 degree centigrade the third one is free storage so the free storage the storage between minus 20 to minus 10 degree centigrade so these are the different degrees of temperature which i have mentioned uh, so uh, temperature play very key role in the drug stability so either uh, we are going to increase or decrease the temperature so it may directly or indirectly affect the stability of the drug or uh, the second one is light so light or photolysis so um light is also one of the important factor so the shorter is the wavelength more is the energy is absorbed per molecule so it means uh, that the decomposition uh, by light decomposition by light it mean that uh, in the presence of uh, light the uh, drug products it may be decomposed and is a result of shorter will be the wavelength and more energy will be absorbed per molecule uh, various sources of light they are sunlight and they are metal halide lamps and fluorescent lamp and other indoor uh, lighting source uh, these reactions can be induced by exposure to photolysis photo mean lysis and lysis means splitting so in photolysis source they are emitting in 2090 to 800 nanometer region the relationship between wavelength and the associated energy of the various forms of light look at here these are the types of radiations the board outer this one is this is the wavelength and this one is the energy kilo calories per mole so the uv light its wavelength is 50 to 400 nanometers while the visible is 400 to 750 nanometers and the ir and for it um, radiation that is 750 to 10000 nanometers look at this is the energy kilo calories uh, per mole 287 to 72 energy kilo calories per mole and this one is 36 to 1 to 36 and now question is that how the photolysis is prevented so you know that uh, uh, photolysis uh, can be prevented by a suitable packing and the embed color bottles 
I mean that you should put the uh, drug substances or drug materials in the suitable faking. Or the cardboard outers or you can use aluminium file wrappers. So it will prevent the portolysis. So the chances of degradation will be minimum. Another one is moisture content. So moisture content also play a very important role in the drug stability. So it enhances the hydrolytic degradations. So definitely there may be chances of uh, hydrolysis or uh, splitting up water molecules and it can increase the rate of degradation. So in the presence of moisture content, so it can increase the rate of uh, degradation. Uh, Packaging materials uh, such as glass and plastics, they are usually chosen to, provide, to prevent the exposure of the truck product to the high humid air conditions. Uh, another one is uh, microbial instability. So, uh, microbial instability means in the presence of microorganisms. So, the, uh, the, the chances of stability of the drug will be minimized. So microbial instability means the source of microbial contamination. So the source of microbial contamination is water. So there is water that contains gram-negative, gram-negative groups that is Pseudomonas, Xenthomonas and uh, Fleobacterium. Another one is microbial instability are the sources of microbial contamination is air. So air molds sometimes the mold spores like uh, penicillin, penicillium, um, aspergillus and bacterial spores and bacillus which is yeast. Uh, these are the different sources or this is actually bacterial contamination. Uh, another one is raw materials or raw material like uh, microcochi and starches uh, which contain coliform type of uh, microbial species and the pigments like uh, salmonella. Uh, sources of microbial contamination that is also gums, so which also contain actinomyces, uh, the animal products which uh, contain salmonella and coliforms type of species and the uh, personals or personal that uh, contain coliform and stipylococcus aureus and stipylococci and streptococci. Uh, another thing is packaging and stability. So how I mean that what are the different packaging materials uh, which are used in order to in order to maintain the stability, the original, the specifications and stability of the drug. So the first one is glass. So uh, glass is uh, resistant to chemical. Actually, glass is resistant to chemical. And the physical change is the most commonly used material. Uh, there are some limitations and overcome. So a uh, glass actually, uh, uh, it's, uh, its surface is alkaline. So ions uh, may precipitate insoluble crystals uh, from the glass and it permit the transmission of light which may accelerate the decomposition. Uh, you should use, uh, there should be use of uh, uh, borosilicate glass, uh, the use of buffers and amber color glass should be used and especially in packaging. Uh, in packaging um, and stability, uh, the plastics, uh, 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 they are also used but the problems with plastics are there may be chances of migration of the drug through the plastic into the environment. So the transfer of environmental moisture, oxygen and the other elements into the pharmaceutical product. So um, as I have already uh, uh, talked about the glasses and plastic, but uh, if, uh, glass, if glass is used instead of plastic, so plastic and plastic, the migration of the drug through the plastic into the environment. So that's why a plastic should be avoided. It will be far better. So the transfer of environmental moisture and oxygen and other elements into the pharmaceutical products. So um, uh, the chances of leaching, leaching of container ingredient into the drug or adsorption of the actual drug are excipients by the plastics. So I mean that uh, for packaging uh, different uh, containers they are used um, in the form of glass and metals. Metals can be also used Various alloys and aluminium tubes may be uh, utilized as a container for emulsion, for ironment, for cream and paste. 
uh, there should be limitation for the uh, metals so they may cause corrosions and precipitation in the drug products. Um, so now uh, how this limitation and how these problems can be overcome. So coatings, uh, we should coat the tubes uh, with the polymers. It may reduce these tendencies. So these are the limitation and then it can be compared with the, uh, 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 we should overcome on these uh, issues, on these problems, which, uh, which may cause drug instability. Uh, rubber can be also used, so rubber also has the problem of extraction of the drugs, so ingredient and uh, leaching of container ingredients. So the pretreatment of rubber while stoppers and closure with water and steam reduces the potential of leachings. Uh, inshallah in my next lecture, uh, I will try to explain uh, briefly uh, the types of uh, drug degradations, that is chemical, physical and biological. Inshallah, I will explain all these contents in my next lecture. Thank you so much for watching my lecture. So if you have any question or if you need this content, so kindly you can email me. So I'm available for any kind of services. Thank you.